welcome to Beautiful Beginnings. It's our show on a Wednesday that we just glide into that midweek session and show you some really lovely things. I hope you've had a great day today. Hope you're enjoying everything that we've been doing on Crafters TV. Uh, we had an amazing launch this afternoon because you know we've got Sheena in the building um, and you're loving those fabulous stamps, which is absolutely amazing. Um, now, remember, we do have an outlet sale on the website, so make sure you go into there. We also uh, have some three for two on cards and envelopes, so don't miss out on those either. Um, but we do have lots going on in Beautiful Beginnings. So you've got us here for two hours. Um, we've got Beck on social, so she's uh, sending over any of your questions uh, that you want to send to myself or Sheena. Um, or you might just want to have a little bit of a chat about anything going on. Uh, you might even want to send some of your pictures in, so uh, I'm sure our Sam won't mind that. Um, we've got uh, Nicola and Sam uh, in the gallery so um, we'll say hi to them but the most they're saying hi hello um, <laughs> but the most important lady herself is in the building let's give a big whoop whoop uh, Sheena's in the building Sheena your stamps have been yeah. incredibly popular today I know. how cool is that thank you everybody yeah I'm pleased to, pleased to like them um, uh, so yeah thank you I had a great show earlier yeah, yeah, we'll have a bit played a bit later. We can Absolutely. Do you know what I think they are, Shin? I think they really encompass you. This Thank is you. your style. You love that outdoors, that countryside, to have that yeah. lakeside down by the river. Yeah. Um, it's almost bringing relaxation into our craft rooms, isn't I, it? Well, I hope so, because that's what makes me happy. That does my head good, is to get into nature and look at these these views and you know there's beauty all around all around the british Isles, all around the globe you know they can be um because one of them's actually um from italy when we're being out and about as, as well really so, i didn't yeah, know that the, one, the mediterranean look at what the one that is actually um when i was in limoni on lake god yeah, oh wow so, um, yeah lovely so hopefully you can um you know it, it, it speaks to you as well which it seems to be so that's it lovely. absolutely does yes uh well we will be looking at them a bit closer um and and, uh, learning all of Sheena's stories about her stamp, stamps and inspiration. Um, Lynn Harvey is here and saying, Hi Debbie, Sheena and the amazing CTV team, the wonderful social superstar and everybody. Uh, Carletta uh, Morris is in uh, saying hello from Arkansas and Vanessa is in saying hello everyone from Florida. Christine Mahone is in saying hello, hello, hello again. Hello Christine. And Vanessa is saying, I am excited to watch Sheena do her magic. Uh, yes, I think we just need to call her magic Sheena from now on because she is magic when she puts whatever a medium is to paper it is incredible um, but we're going to test her actually because the first thing I want to show you tonight um, is some amazing floral creations so you know this floral creations is back in stock there's still not huge amounts of this um, but it has come back into, into stock so make sure you grab them uh, you absolutely love them when we launched them a couple of weeks ago they are an amazing set because not only do you have have your um, dyes that can create all those beautiful flowers if I just turn that round you'll be able to see that you get stamps in there uh, you also get your box and you get your booklets of papers as well including all those amazing dyes so there is loads in there and if I just show you the board here you can see just how much you are getting uh, for your money there is tons and tons of different foliage of uh, different petals of different flowers um, really building up this amazing floral creation collection and the amazing thing about it is that you get a little box that you can put everything into and this stamp set you're going to be using time and time again I'm already using it for so many different projects so you'll love that and then your paper pads that are coming with those you're getting your spring and your summer uh, so both of those come within the set so it's a great one to have uh, for an amazing price today in fact platinum price is 40 pounds or 48 dollars um, and I know you'll be uh, snapping those up uh, but we're going to head over to Sheen and see Sheena's take on this floral creations. Uh, Sheena, I know from old, you love some flowers, yeah. don't you? And you know what? Full disclosure, we're just going to tell you, this is the very first time <laughs> yes. I am playing with these. I know, we thought we'd challenge it, you. Well, it was, it, was, it was Debbie and Nicola's fault. They said, I'm Debbie, I remember you doing something like similar to this with um, copy paper and colour them and everything. Went, and Nicola said, oh, yeah, we'll get some for you. And then I looked and thought, oh, yeah, we'll play with that. So here, here I am, we're playing together. <laughs> so it is a beautiful beginning for me as well with these. But here's my thinking. So indeed, I did, I had a range, um, a few ranges out in the past where we did um, 
I had fuchsia and roses and lilies and all different things, shapes that made these flowers. And I would do them with copy paper. So you can't get any much more cheap and cheerful than a bit of copy paper. So, you know, get it out your printer, give it a fold because we're going to cut at least two out at a time with this. So I'm going to see if it'll do four. So that's another good thing, is if it'll cut four pieces of paper out. Hello, yes. I'm up mm, for that, Debbie. Absolutely. So let's have a try and see what we've got. So I've got my, um, I've got my Gemini plate here. Um, I'm just thinking it's going to take a while to pull all these off the off the thing, isn't it? <laughs> I'm going to take the ones. Let me concentrate on the flowery bits to start with that I think we can play with immediately, and then we'll go with foliage. That's where I'm going to go with it. So I'm going to take all the florals off one. And I'll tell you what I'm liking. You get that um, storage with them as well, don't you, Debbie? Yes, I like, you I'm do. liking that. And I would absolutely get some dye storage for these as well. You know, of the magnetic thing or something like that. Because yes. when they're small ones, you don't want to lose them. Because there's lots not. of yep. little bits and pieces in here. So, um, yeah, that might... Oh, that's a good calyx type one. <laughs> Ooh. Yeah, just, don't, just ignore me. Just don't mind me. I'm just, I'm just like, literally, I, you know, I couldn't be um, any more honest about discovery <laughs> as we go. So, right, let's see if we'll fill that sheet with them. Let's start with them. And now what I'm going to do, I've got four sheets of copy paper. So two A4, and I folded them in half. So let's see if it'll cut through that. And if it will, that's a brilliant start because there's like, um, you know, fewer times it has to go through the machine, the quicker we can play. Absolutely. So. I do love using copy paper. Oh. It's, a, it's a medium we forget about a lot, isn't it? Well, sorry? It's a medium that we forget about. Yeah, absolutely. And you know what? The thing is... Oh, oh, oh. Oh, it was all going so well. <laughs> Oopsies. Okay. Don't yeah. worry, we'll okay. sweep them you up didn't later. Say that. <laughs> but the thing is, is what battery, I'm pretend that didn't happen. Um, <laughs> when you look at petals on flowers, if you're gonna go for authenticity, they're very delicate and fine, aren't they? They're not thick. And copy paper isn't thick. So that was my thinking. But what happens is when we're gonna paint them, we're gonna paint the copy paper. Um, they become it becomes like it's got more substance to them so it's easily cut out four sheets of copy paper like what i'm not even woken up yet what <laughs> oh yeah come back when you've got a challenge douglas why don't you <laughs> oh, look at that easy so i mean i would just keep going until at the point where it won't cut out anymore so four sheets of copy paper easy right Fabulous. You yeah, it'll be like in adrenaline the cutting there. It'll be like, <laughs> now, Sheena, that's a whole ream of paper there. <laughs> it's not going through the even aperture in the machine. Think on. Oh, you know what? I had to take it too far. That's what I was always told as a kid. You know, you've got to go too far, haven't you? You've gone too far again. So what I'm doing is I'm separating these little flowers. Now, what I would do, right, my take on this would be look at some real flowers because the thing is with flowers and i've drawn a few in midday they and basically you. are <laughs> one or two <laughs> what i've come to notice eventually you know pigeon would have noticed quicker but i did get there is that um they're pretty much much of a lightness the petals only vary so much yeah what changes is the color and the amount of petals that the flowers got true so what you've probably got here, you've probably got something here that you can make most flowers out of with a bit of like tweaking. Yeah. And, um, so that's what I'm thinking. I'm thinking there looks like there might be a fuchsia type flower here that we can make. Um, there's definitely going to be like a, maybe a sunflowery type flower mm -hmm. and daisy type and a rose type. So maybe colour them in appropriately. So I'm just separating these. I mean, look at them all. Look at that. That's, and, and you know what? And it also, think of postage. Think of the weight of copy paper. Oh, uh, yeah. You know, it's... Uh, and that's one pass in the machine. That's one pass in the machine. And I'm still, like, separating these little guys here because, like I say, if I put more in, I probably would have compressed it and we would have had coal or diamonds if we'd gone <laughs> So there you go. We've got all those. And then there's all those centres and all those little bits I haven't even started to separate yep. yet. And those little guys there, let's work on these ones. So what I'm thinking is let's look at some colour combinations to start with. And what I'm going to use to colour them in, ba, 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 sparkle, baby. Yes, please. Why would you not? So let me see. I'm thinking these could be quite fuchsia-ish. Not back to the fuchsia-ish. 
right? <laughs> and I'm wondering if we can make this centre into like the centre of a fuchsia, like that kind of thing. Oh, can you see? And yes. then this go over the top, and then try it like that. Should we try like it? Like that, yeah. So let's colour in some of these to start with. Let's do, let's do, you know, through a few of them. So with fuchsias, you usually got like the pink and the purple. So I've got two sets now. Debbie will tell you all about these sparkle pens a little bit more shortly. Yeah, absolutely. But just know that when they're new, you've got this green band there. That is to tell you that they're brand spanking new, and all the wonderfulness that's in this bit of plastic here hasn't been punctured. All right, that's sealed. So you can put them on the shelf, and not nothing's going to happen to them. You know, you can store them. Um, you know, next year you can come back to them. And you should be all right. But once you've given them a good shake, and then you take this top off you can see this is perfectly clear you remove this you take that little band away because that's what's stopping this bit piercing that bit and then what you do is you give them a good shake then you screw this onto there and then that should have pierced that um, plastic sealed um, unit there and then you can and notice as well this is a bit like it's kind of crunchy because it's got like gum arabic on to keep it as a nice point before you use it give it a little squeeze and then lo and behold what you got a gorgeous plethora of wonderful color now i've put it on there like that because i'm not even going to use it neat i'm going to use it diluted all right and i'm going to put the pink there as well and i'm just squeezing it out a little bit normally you don't do this but just it's okay just use up all the excess then put the lid back on it it might be a bit messy next time you go to use it but It'll, it'll be fine. Right. It'll be okay. So now, <laughs> we trust next, you. That'll be all good. <laughs> now, what I'm going to do is take this. Now, what you'll find is when you wet these, the paper becomes really kind of, um, you know, quite delicate, more yep. delicate than it was before. But that's okay because when you dry it, it becomes more kind of like tough than it was before. Yes. So that's the first one. And be careful when they're wet because they really are easy to taste. So I'm going to pop that one there. I'm going to go home lovely colour tonight, aren't I? <laughs> you will. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah, I'm going to have a hot pink cockapoo. I do love the sparkle pens. Uh, in fact, I was thinking that these were, um, we had our 18th birthday, didn't we, on um, last year? Um, and these pens come out on our 10th birthday. So the sparkle pen's been around like eight years now. Oh, and they're yeah. still I going loved them strong. When they first came out, I was a mega sparkle pen fan from yes. the off the get-go debbie love them um they're, they're just intense color with bling what's not to love what more can you want oh now that just be careful like i say when these are wet use your brush to separate them and try not to move them around much what i'll be doing in a minute is i'll be um drying these with a heat gun okay yep. so i'm using this darker one there so i've got the dark color there and again, just using the brush just to move them out of the way so I can bring some more in. And then that one there. Now, I don't know if this is going to work. We can have a bit of a play and a bit of try between us. But that's the first flower option. Can you see they've got the colours of that are fuchsia-ish. Mm, nice. They? I might do one more centre in case we've got to um, increase the, the, kind of the, um, the petals in the middle. But I'll pop that there like that. Now, they're going to get dried shortly. And the next thing I want to do is just get a wipe and wipe that up. And let's colour some in so that they look a bit sunflowery, eh? shall we? Yes. Now, the Love other thing it. that you can do is you can always snip into them. So you see these petals here, they're a little bit squarer than a sunflower, aren't they? But we can always, once that um, dry, snip into them as well. So give your pens a shake. And then we're going to squeeze some of the um, yellow because indeed that is what sunflowers are. Yep. <laughs> oh, that is true. <laughs> <laughs> and then that there. And so then... matter of fact today, Sheena. <laughs> <laughs> and then we'll just soak. So what you want to do is just soak them with plenty of colour and then flip them over, pop that like that. And then you can even pop a little bit of this darker just in the centre like that. And it gives it a little bit of variation. See how it looks. Uh, and this is where you're going to get like kind of realistic looking flowers, yes. possibly, hopefully. But I, don't, <laughs> I can't say for sure because you know what? 
we're finding out together. I, I love that we just gave them to you like five minutes before the show and you were like, okay, yeah, yeah oh, okay, let's, let's do, do that. Play with it. <laughs> yeah, you know, I saw the potential. I thought, oh, yeah, they look right at my street, so <laughs> we'll have a play. Right, and then we're going to just work that there. And we need a centre of this sunflower as well, which are, they've got little dots. And then we'll, we'll dry these and then we'll have a play with the other stuff. Now, we'll warn you that we're going to dry it with a heat gun shortly. And remembering from old, heat guns tend to blow <laughs> copy paper <laughs> easily um, at distance. <laughs> so just be ready to anchor down, okay? <laughs> oh, I'm just saying it's not like it. I'm speaking from experience here, but I am. <laughs> right, I'm just going to go straight over with that one, just for speed in the middle, like that, the dark centre of that there, sunflower. And I only need one, I only do one side of that one because that's all I need. Right, this is the fun bit, okay? Oh, brace yourselves. This could be like <laughs> slapstick TV. Chaplin at his best. Chaplin crafts, yeah. Okay. Have you got a pokey tool? I have got a pokey tool, <laughs> Debbie. I have that very pokey tool ready. So, but I have lots of bits here. So here's the good thing is that we now have two speed heat tool. So definitely anchor it down and commence the drying. <laughs> commence. Um, I've done this in a live demonstration before and the whole crowd's been like, oh, it's like confetti all over. <laughs> it's like a, a, a crowd, crowd participation. You're like, everybody, all right, everybody pick up the flowers now. <laughs> if you get a flower, I'll make, a, make it into something for you. So can you see what happens as well is that they automatically start moving because of the, 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 um, how delicate the paper is. Yep. So if I stop that there, and if you think that we're going to make kind of a fuchsia type flower, we can bring this down like this already. And what I would probably do is maybe try and cut a little hole in the center. The pokey tool might do it, but you know, if you've got a hole punchy kind of thing or something, yeah. because what we want to do ideally is make a cone with this guy and pop him through the middle. That's the plan. That's the plan. Yeah, but we'll see. That's all, you know, all the best plans in the world don't always pan <laughs> out, Debbie, just saying. <laughs> And then we'll just dry that like this. And oh, I'll just love the fact that pet, they move when it dries, the copy paper just dries and, and um, articulates and gives that delicate movement that, that real petals would have, yeah? So if you could turn that round into a, like a cone and we stick that, can you see how that would start to form the centre of a, of a fuchsia? Oh, yeah. yeah. Now, if you need a couple, it might need a couple with that. So let's see if we do a couple um, carefully. Oh, yeah, They're like a, like the one that you use with the foam thing. Yeah, that would work as well. Yeah, good, good thinking. So Sherry said that to use a, um, like a, you know, a foaming sponge as well. Now, when I did these back in the day, there wasn't any of all this fancy stuff. Now we've just come on with all of that. What, these newfangled young'uns? I know, we didn't even have cardstock. It was all copy paper. Oh, back in the day, we'd walk for 10 miles barefoot to craft. And you had to cut your own flowers oh, out. You what? didn't even have a dye. <laughs> didn't have it easy like they've got these days, Debbie, did we? <laughs> Oh, it was so, hard to craft in the old days, wasn't whoa. it? <laughs> not, not even a pokey tool in sight. <laughs> not a pokey tool exactly. <laughs> All right, so I'm putting a little bit of glue on this just to see if I can wrap one of those little guys around the other little guy. And then, so this is just another option on this on how you can play with them to give it different, you know, different flowers, isn't it? Because um, I like that, that we can, you know, mix it up for you, don't yeah, we? Yeah, I love that you say it's saw a fuchsia in that straight away. I'd never even looked at it like that. Yeah. So, and then what you'll do is you'll just move these little guys out like that. So you've got like the centre of your fuchsia type one. That's amazing. And then hopefully if you make that little centre big enough like this, and then that can go maybe through there. Look at that. That's amazing. Like that. 
and then these ones will come out and just turn them up. <laughs> See, Sheena, that's why you are amazing. And then you've got a little, a little fuchsia <laughs> tape. They're saying in my ear, that's why you're the goat. Yeah, not because I claim all over the furniture. Not because you have a beard. <laughs> I do do that if I'm left to my own devices. It is true. They've got to watch me for that. But um, I'm going to pop a little bit of glue on there. And that just needs a little bit larger. So, you know, have a bit play at home. But this is speed crafting for you guys to see how many little ideas I can give you to go with these to have a bit of a play with once you get your kit. Because these are great. That's like an identity kit for flowers. You know, it's like, yeah. And then that there, that there. Stick that on there. And I bet you could probably even put a little calyx type thing on the top of that mm. to make it look like it's a little bit more. That's amazing. Of a, um, of a fuchsia. You know, these little, um, those little bits there. In fact, I had, oh, talking to myself, I know there was a bit, these bits, yeah. That, I strongly suspect if we did that green, and tied it around like this, there's two bits there, that you could probably, see if you glue that, oh, and then yeah. you put that on there. Oh yes, See, perfect. you've got the little calyxy bit on the top yeah. as well. That's amazing. <sighs> that's a fuchsia. Look at that, that's the fuchsia. Fuchsia, should we try a sunflower? I mean, I think you should just go back to that one. <laughs> back to that one. Oh. Back to the fuchsia. Back to the fuchsia. Oh, no. I know, oh. sorry, that was very poor. Very poor. Yeah, yeah we, ne we never tire that of it. I actually had a, an ink pad once and I called it back to the fuchsia. Yeah. <laughs> oh, see what I mean about oh. offering them? Right, you nobody the move. Guy. Nobody move. I think it's on the other side of the studio now. <laughs> Where Literally have lost it. Oh, man. Shall I come and find it? Yeah, cheers, Debbie. It went in that direction. It, like, went under there. You know what? Everything, there's the furthest part of this um, counter that everything seems to go under, doesn't it, if it's going to go somewhere. Um, right, let me get some scissors and we'll cut this here as well. It's like, disappeared, hasn't it? It has gone it's back gone. to the future. It's gone. I mean, it's not like it's not bright enough to see. Exactly. Yeah, it's gone. Sorry, oh, I need two of them as well to see. So what I'm doing, what I'm thinking is, if we layer them up, all right, and do another couple, and then we can, we can like kind of, um, you know, that would need another layer for sure. And then this little guy will go in the middle Oh, oh. <laughs> like well, that. we put you under pressure here and you're doing amazing i mean literally amazing um let me just read you something actually sheena because uh, pat i think it's titchen uh damarest um, is saying hi debbie sheena and ct tv team uh, and all my fellow crafting buddies from a clear um, and beautiful new jersey i watched just a little bit of the first show i just wanted to tell sheena um, oh, I would love to tell Sheena I was mesmerised by her colouring. I originally thought that I could never do this type of colouring because it looks so detailed, but I think you've given me the confidence to be able to do it. Um, oh. Thank you again for a great and have a great show. How lovely is that? Oh, thank you. So so nice. Yeah, that's brilliant because that's exactly what it what we we hope will be the result of what we're what we're doing because um, that's what it's all about. Thank you. And, and now people can make fuchsias and sunflowers out of their floral creations. Yeah, well, if we had the other one, we'll try and colour it in a minute. Do you want to try to do another couple of colouring in? Yes, yeah? absolutely. Shall we try? Let's try a rosy type colour. Um, let's do this pink, but make it a bit lighter. So basically all we're going to do is the same pink, but I might dilute it a little bit more. So it's a little bit paler. So just more water and then pop it on like that. And then, so just, you know, it's going to soak into the paper, but that's okay, because that's what we, that's why we're using the copy paper. Yeah. 
Yeah, it's a nice medium to use. Yeah. I like vellum as well, vellum flowers. Yeah. I, mean, I think, you know, as a crafter, we love anything that's cheap and cheerful, don't we? Yeah, absolutely. You know, and, um, and again, I, I, I used that when I did mine back in the day because, not necessarily because it was cheap and cheerful, but because it gave the best result, I thought, for looking like real petals, you know, because of the, um, A, how fine it is, yep. but how it, it, when you dry it, they move automatically. Um, they just move in a natural fashion. And then you've also got that, um, that when they also dry, they become a little bit more substantial because you're breaking the fibres down and then it kind of sets a little bit where, it, where it's supposed to be. So I'm just drying again on a low um, kind of uh, speed. And this should, like, it's kind of like, well, you've seen how you use the foam now and it starts to curl up. But again, the fact that you can create little floral creations <laughs> with something <laughs> as cheap and cheerful as paper, copy yep. paper, I think is a good thing. Yeah, definitely. So. And especially when you can cut so many out in one go. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, so I reckon you'll do at least six sheets of paper out of um, out of one pass through the machine, for sure. And it's just a really nice way to just have a play, isn't it? Yes, because, you know, just cut all those shapes out and, and just have a play and see what combinations you can come up with. I think that's the fun of it, too. So, you see how intense that colour is though? I mean, how much did I water that down, Debbie? Yeah. And it's still super bright. Yeah, so really bright. just be aware that you really can make that go a long way, those sparkle pens, yeah. more than you think, because the paper being thinner, it kind of absorbs and it kind of concentrates the colour more than if it was just sat on the surface of the card as well. Yeah, it's so, so good. I definitely need to paint that little bit of green so we can see how that looks on that little few shelling and it'll look cute. And then you've got all the foliage as well, which will look fabulous with a little bit of plain as well. Um, right, so we might be at the point where we can stick this together because, you know, it's going to take a bit to dry it all completely. So I would start with obviously the larger ones on the bottom and then we're going to offset them a little bit like that and stick them together and then we'll just ruffle it up like a bit of a rosy type shape or it could even be a chrysanth as well because they're all you know similar oh yes petals yeah, yeah. and things aren't they um I'll put another one there like that can i hear seagulls oh they've been terrible lately what? they've been so noisy yeah really noisy wow they're really loud yeah i don't know we're getting it a lot every day this week they've been uh, it's almost like they're vulturing wow Right, so we're going to hope that when that sticks together and then we'll curl up little bits in the middle. Yeah, you're right, this would make a lovely chrysanthemum. Yes, because of that look and the serrated edge. It's got that little ruffly edge to yeah. it. And, you know, that's just, what, four or so little bits and pieces in there? Look at that, there. that's amazing. But look at how quick and easy that is with a bit of paper. Now, when that dries, if you dry that a little bit more, you're going to have that even oh, I prettier. love that. Yeah, that's beautiful. Yeah, How that's quick amazing. And easy was that? Yeah, it's easy, so beautiful. Wasn't it? So a few of those. Um, again, if I'd I've had more time to prepare a few, we could put a little arrangement together for you, but but I've been I've enjoyed doing it just a little bit just to let you see just how to um, to try some different bits and pieces, but um, do you want to do you want to move on to something else? Or shall we do a bit more colouring and cutting? Yeah, we'll have a, we'll come away from you. We will probably have some more. I think. I mean, I'll they're saying more. Um, let's have a, a sort of a recap and um, and just read some comments because you've got loads coming in. Sherry is saying um, hello, everyone from beautiful Oregon. Um, Connie is saying oh, now Connie is saying I've heard so much about Sheena's faux leather technique. Uh -huh. Is this something that you could demo at some point? When I come back, next time we've got embossing folders on the show, we'll do faux leather. 
for sure. Oh, amazing. Yes. yes. There you go, um, Connie. You've heard it from the horse's mouth or the goat's mouth, I should say. Uh, <laughs> um, Julie is saying, hi, everyone, from a very wet and soggy Norfolk. Uh, Sheena's ET team. Uh, Julie Temperton. Um, where are you in Norfolk, Julie? Because I'm in Norfolk as well. Um, Shadia is saying, uh, hi, Inky Sheena and Miss Giggles. Hello, Shadia. Um, Stephanie is saying hello again uh, to all her friends. Sheena, Debbie, Social Superstar and CTV um, team. Jenny Barger is in saying I will definitely be trying these dyes uh, with copy paper. Yeah, it's a great one to use, isn't it? Um, and Sherry saying you could string little beads for the little legs. What was we talking about? Little legs. You could string little beads for the little legs. Yeah, whose legs, Sherry? Whose yeah, legs? Not my legs. Hilary said the paper pad that comes with the fuchsia collection makes lovely flowers because it's thin enough to pass through uh, the machine. So, uh, yeah. Uh, and, and actually, Sheena, it's a good point because the paper pads are great for making flowers in themselves, aren't they? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, uh, Stephanie said Sheena is amazing. Uh, Stephanie is saying, who knew a flower forming class by Sheena? Yeah, absolutely. Right yeah. off the cusp. That's what we do here. Um, uh, yeah, you can thank us later. You're very welcome. And Nicola, of course. Um, and uh, Stephanie said, I love the way to colour the, these flowers. Um, and I have all those little inky pots of liquid sparkle. Um, yes, and she's saying the seagulls are, are loud. You can hear them. Yeah, they're always loud. Um, but yes, so those uh, flowers are amazing. Just quickly recap on those. Um, if you wanted to go for these today, they're £50 or $60. Platinum price is $40 or $48. And you're getting everything you see here including the tub that you can put them all in and including those papers in your spring and your summer you get 30 sheets in each there so 60 sheets uh, and these will fit through your Gemini mini so absolutely perfect for some quick flower making which is amazing and hopefully uh, Sheena's shown you just how you can get some extras out of your flowers which is amazing now the other thing Sheena was using is the sparkle pens the sparkle pens are just beautiful. Now you're getting all of these in the pack. You've actually got two, four, five packs of sparkle pens. Each one have got your three in them. Um, you're buying, in fact, how about buying those? Buy three of them and you're getting two of them for nothing. Uh, so we're popping them in your basket. You can get all of those today for £38.97 or $56.97. Platinum price $31.18 or $45.58. Uh, and you will get all of those three-piece pen sets, which are incredible uh, and very, very sparkly. Uh, now, we're going to take a very short break, a break because your baskets are bowled in. So we'll let you check out. Uh, but while you watch, while you're having a little break, have a look at this. My name's Craig Laird, I'm a Crafter's Companion. I am a craft expert where I get to play with lots of crafty goodies from Crafter's Companion and hopefully we're here to inspire you with lots of crafty things that you can do. So my crafting journey, that started many, many years ago, actually just over 20 years ago. I actually came across crafting on uh, UK Shopping TV. I, uh, I was unwell at the and I was just channel surfing, just uh, having a look to see what was on TV and then I came across who has now become my friend Dawn Bevy and I thought, oh, quite like that bit of crafting that she's doing. I purchased some crafty goodies and before you know it, here I am, all these years later, uh, doing what I'm doing with Crafter's Companion. So believe it or not, none of my family or friends are actually very creative. So the creative side in me has actually just progressed naturally. As I have progressed, I've become really good friends with many craft experts out there in the industry and they're the ones that inspire me. Then coming to Crafters Companion, Crafters TV and interacting with all the crafters at home, seeing what they make. I am a huge, huge advocate for social media because you get to see lots of things that everyone makes home and that does inspire me as well. Many years ago before I started here at Crafters Companion, believe it or not, I didn't have a lot of confidence. I didn't go out a lot, I didn't do much. Now with Crafters Companion and Crafters TV, it's given me so much confidence, self-belief. My biggest crafting success, I'm going to have to pick two. One of them is appearing on HSN America. I was really, really lucky a couple of years ago 
able to actually go to Florida with Sarah to see how it all works behind the scene. An incredible juggernaut that they shop on TV is at HSN. That is an incredible proud moment. I will never ever forget when all of you incredible crafters at home uh, voted for me to be in the run-in of the 2021 Male Craft Personality of the Year was such a humbling feeling. I was so, so proud. I was so great. Our Crafter TV audience are absolutely incredible. For me personally, it is personal interaction. I've never had the best of health. I've always been open about that uh, with our viewers and the support that I get. So many people are in the same situation health-wise, but if you just want that interaction, you just want to have that chat away about anything random in life, on a social media, on a Crafters TV, we know that you're going to get that support, you're going to get that understanding when it comes to the crafters at home. Uh, welcome back to Crafters TV. I thought I'd get the box out and have a, a show of it because um, if you haven't seen the floral collect cre creations, uh, it comes with this fab little box. It means that when you start to do all your flower making, you can store them in here. And the great thing about it is these little pieces come out. So some of them do. There we go. <laughs> pick the right ones so you can actually if you put in more bigger ones in there or you've got your big stems you can actually uh, separate it uh, so you can do whatever you want to do with those ones so it's a great little storage box to keep everything in and that obviously comes with all your dies so you're getting if I show you those look at I mean you really do get an awful lot of dies on there and your foliage you're going to be crafting with these for a long time I'm actually thinking as well you can make a poinsettia out of this one up here so by um, sort putting your leaves the opposite way pinching them in at the side making them a bit more pointy Christmas flowers roses so I think that is an all year round uh, you've got your fern up here as well so that's going to be used so much so you're getting lots in there so you're getting your box your dies and your papers and your stamps as well so that's a huge amount you're getting in there um, but we're having so much love for uh, uh, Sheena's creations with these flowers uh, we're going to head back to her and see what else she's got in store uh, with these flowers uh, Sheena you haven't stopped over there since uh, we've left you because there's so much to play with <laughs> and you know what I'm making a great mess here I'm happy look at the state I've got over here I've, one of them's just torn there that's torn it but just, so just be careful once you've the dry they're much stronger when they're wet you've got to be a bit careful so especially for some of these um, little ones that have just got li little fern there I'm trying to pack as much on the table as I can so I can just have one big like kind of drying session in a minute so oh you see what I mean oh look at that we'll piece that <laughs> together in a minute oh don't what did I just do um, but that right so and then we've got these bits here which are going to be super delicate so here's the thing I'm thinking get the color on them quickly and leave it don't touch right, them anymore yes. just put it on and let it be yes as the Beatles would say let it be let, let it be, be let it be let it be and oh let it be, let it be. They are words of wisdom. Sheena's words of wisdom. Let it Let be. Let it be. Yeah, <laughs> absolutely. Yeah, and actually that's a, that's a good tip because if you just left them there, dried them, you can always then go back in, couldn't you? Exactly, that's it. So, oh, you see, I brought that bit, but we can piece them together. Right, so I've got enough now to just start playing and drying these. So, um, where's my porky tool? Oh, no. Oh, right, no. we've, we're done for without the porky tool. <laughs> right, I've got it. Okay, we're all right. So I'm just going to, some of them's going to fly around, but you know what, we'll just dry what we can, when we can, and get them together. And then just show you how, just a simple little, you know, arrangement and things with the with ones that you've coloured works too, Debbie. Yeah. Yeah, I, yeah, I love wish, it. like I say, if I had more play time, we could do a lot more with them. But what I've done here, I hope you've noticed, I've put brown out, green out, yellow out, and a bit of um, even orange. And by mixing those colours together, mm -hmm. you're getting different colour foliage for your collection. That makes it more interesting. So this is like... This one looks a bit like a shepherd's purse kind of thing that yep. when I was a kid. Remember that one? Yes, I do, yeah. yeah I used to have that grown everywhere when I was a kid. Um, and I've actually got two layers there. It didn't separate, but 
I quite like that. I would still keep that on the yeah, card. Can you nice. see anyway? Sometimes you get a little brucey bonus and it separates like that. <laughs> and I'm gonna keep that. That's all right. So you it know does look spending cool. time separating them sometimes maybe don't see what you get with that as well. So hopefully can you, I like these little ferny kind yeah, of Yeah, they're nice as well. them ones. So when we get these all put together. Uh, we'll get a bit of white cord and just start seeing how we can, you know, put a little composition together as well. But these are fabulous, all these different shapes. These are invaluable for, you know, lots of corners and things yeah. and where you've got a, you know, maybe a scene. Hello, I think I know where you can get one. Yeah. And then you want to create a border with some foliage. These guys are coming brilliantly they're for They're amazing, aren't they? Ooh, could maybe double that up a bit later, yeah, see what they look like those. around the outside. So creating your own, um, you know, interest around the outside of that. Yeah, good idea. You could create a frame, couldn't you? Yeah, absolutely. So we're nearly at the point where we can clear this up a little bit. I mean, there's loads that we haven't cut out, but just for time, we may have to, you know, see what we've got here to play with and just have a, give you an idea of how it's going to look with the copy paper approach. Yeah? Um, right, need a, a white because this is intense. That's the good thing about the sparkle colours as well. They are so colour rich that you just need a little bit and a lot of water. Um, but do remember when you add that lot of water, you've got to leave your little things where they are until they dry. Yeah? Yes. Right, let me get a bit of white cord and we'll have a look and see where, how can we can maybe just pop a little arrangement together. So say that's a little bit of white card. So you've got all these. Oh, look at how cool they look. They look yeah, quite them. realistic, that. I think that looks I think you're going to have to get this set, Sheena. Don't you? Sorry? I think you're going to have to get I this set. I think I'm going to have to get it because yeah. I, I just think it just works too well. But look how all those different greens look looks really amazing. pretty just like that. Yeah. And actually, like I was saying earlier, if I wanted to, maybe not that one, but even on this one, you could... I know I've brought these ones in, we haven't done these ones yet, but if you wanted, you could create a really oh, pretty... Oh, yes, look at that. See? A lovely little kind of frame for these little guys to be playing and look through. That is nice. And you could you could extend that, couldn't you, through that? That looks thing. amazing. Um, and just, I th I, that would be, I think that would look really, yeah, so you're seeing good. stamps and things, it's going to work great with. I'm all over here, but just because I'm playing too, and I'm trying to show you as much as that would inspire me to play with it, as I hope let you see the potential as well, yeah. on a different approach, you know, the um, it, papers, the, they look fab too, but it's just a different use and a different a different take, isn't it, yeah, on totally. what you can do with them. That would look, your pictures or your stamps would look nice behind, like in an aperture, and then the front of the aperture could be all the those grasses around. Absolutely, absolutely. And then, like, this one looks a little bit smaller. Maybe we'll pop that. But I just think the foliage itself looks so pretty, don't yeah, you? Yeah, so nice. I'm kind of running out a bit here, but we need a little bit through there. And then you've got your... Your florals you can pop in there. And they look like real, um, they look like dried Pressed flowers. Dried flowers, yes. they do, don't they? Looks exactly and that's, like that. So that's a completely, I think it's a bit different to what you've done with them, which yeah, I totally. think is really, um, you know, um, not bad considering it's the first time we've played with them and we can develop that further. And this little bit I was talking about is the bit I would definitely wrap around the top of this let me see if i can stick it and then we'll see what it looks like on the top of that fuchsia um but bearing in mind i've had no play time with these guys if i can do this now yeah right imagine what car. you can do when you get them home totally and you've got them in your life and a bit more play time with them um you'll be able to just you know keep going and keep going yeah definitely um yeah it's a great little set to have it is a fab little set. It is like an identity kit for flowers. Um, there you go. Little, so clever. Little fuchsia. 
there as well. So that little guy could be hanging down there as well if you wanted yeah. that at the top or whatever. And this one, and then if we had like a little bit more, but we've run out of um, drying bits, but you know, you would just add other little, there's loads of little things you could just keep adding in that arrangement. Yeah, totally. But um, so hopefully that's given you a different approach on that. Yeah, I think it's given lots of people uh, inspiration. Uh, Wanda is saying, um, I got my full basket checked out. I've been adding to it for weeks and I've waited um, on a can't live without. That was Sheena's new stamps. Uh, the sample with snow on the bench sold it. It was fabulous as always. Um, Julie's saying that um, she met me, we've met quite a few times at the So Simple Crafting demo. Yes, uh, Julie, um, uh, I have, it seems like years ago since I was there. So um, yeah, it's, uh, it's, it's, it's still there. Is it still there? Um, well, and Julie is saying you could do various green wash over the papers and then die cut out your leaves. So actually, that's a point. So I suppose you just maybe waste a little bit more of your papers, but you could do the wash over your papers first. Oh, you and mean then die the cut them? Yeah, I've tried that before, and that works, and it's easier. But you don't get the um, the shaping of the petals. They don't right, bend yes. and do that natural kind of you know articulation and movement because yeah. the paper's already dried flat yes so they're a little bit more static yeah and am i right in thinking that you used to crinkle the papers yourself but was that when they were wet or when they were dry when they're semi-dry right dry them a little bit so that they've got a little bit more um substance to them they've got a bit more um you know um yeah they're not as delicate yes yeah and then scrunch them up or shape them a little bit at that stage and then continue drying them but it's a little bit more time consuming but i think for the time we've we've got those and played with them hopefully that's got you um seeing where to go with them and 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 give you enough to Keep well, it's given us a completely different outlook on them to what we've all done on the team. So, yeah, different way to look at them and different way to do them. Um, Stacey Lou is saying that it looks like pressed flowers. Yeah, absolutely, Stacey. Um, and uh, Pat is asking, what would be the best adhesive uh, to use to attach the very fragile branches? Um, and would one, running them through a Xyron machine be no, useful? I wouldn't do them. I was just going to say, no, I wouldn't yeah. put them through a Xyron machine. I would just use a little bit of wet glue. You know, get one of these, you know, the little applicators and put the glue in your little applicators those little yeah three in a pack don't you um put the glue the tacky glue is what i use and actually if you put tacky glue into like that much and then a little bit of water in it it just makes it a bit thinner to come through the tube but yeah it doesn't break down the glue that it doesn't stick right so, perfect yeah, yeah amazing yeah wet glue is always good um so if you want to go for those flowers today that sheena has just gracefully just made lots of beautiful ones um you can get them all today and this is what you're getting i mean it really is uh, a big comprehensive set you're getting these for platinum price 40 pounds for 48 dollars but you're getting all of the dyes that you see in those foliage and those petals and leaves you're also getting the stamp set you're also getting your box that you can then keep them all in as well and you're also getting your paper pads. There's 30 sheets on each of these. There's six by three inches, so they will fit through your mini. Um, and you're getting them in your spring colours and your summer colours. So make sure you grab those flowers. They did sell out on launch. We've had their back in stock. Um, but how long for? Who knows? Uh, now, thank you, because you have been sending in your photos. So we've got a few of your photos, um, which have been made with the floral creations. So uh, it's so nice to see them so nice to see that you've got them home i mean massive shout out to our warehouse they are getting your orders out really super quick at the moment uh, remember to head over to the uh, outlet sale as well because there's some amazing offers on there um uh, we're going to look at stacy's to start with so uh ah oh, this is beautiful so stacy i think you're maybe making something for mother's day which is coming up very soon um that's uh, in march isn't it march the 10th i want to say but is i could it? be wrong i think okay. so yes but um yeah come on guys you need to find out with your mums <laughs> um, that's absolutely beautiful uh stacy stacy's been uh, busy making for mum as well because uh, she's got another one here um i love this actually sheena because it's just it's really quite simple but just really dainty flowers on there looks amazing 
beautiful design. Thank you, Stacey. Wow. Lovely. Uh, Cheryl's also sent in a beautiful one. Um, she's been making some forget-me-nots with her uh, flower creations. I love that, using all those clusters of the little flowers. Um, looks super cute and uh, amazing. And using them with the um, border dies that we've had in as well. I love those, those cutting dies. Absolutely beautiful. Thank you, Cheryl. Uh, Mary has sent one in as well. So um, she bought the floral creations with the midi. Um, oh, and she's, used, she's using it with adults with disabilities and apparently they absolutely love it. Mary, we love you. That's an amazing thing to do. Um, and I think just to be able to create something like you've done, I love how you've done all the gold. You've got gold glitter card, gold mirror card. It looks absolutely beautiful. And it's a Mother's Day card. Yes, I think we're going to get inundated with Mother's Day cards now, aren't we? Um, <laughs> Hillary is now being uh, sent in a card in last one, uh, which is a beautiful arrangement of uh, flowers. Um, but Hillary, I believe you've been doing some home decor, uh, which is amazing. That looks incredible. I love your stamps in there and I love the way you've um, put the flowers on. They're absolutely beautiful. Love those. Thank you so much for sending in your uh, photos. Um, it's so nice to be able to, uh, to see them. Uh, right, now let's have a look at the launch that we launched today, which was Sheena's new stamps. Now, you can go for the stamps on their own, but for only an extra £20 or $30, which is amazing, you are getting everything that we can see here, which is amazing. It's our showstopper. You know we do a good showstopper. Um, um, you've been buying the showstopper in your droves. Uh, you're actually getting all your four stamps in there. So your value is in your stamps, but also in everything you get with it because you're also getting a paintbrush, which is just by the side here. Um, you're also getting your watercolour cardstock. You're getting a six by six, six stamping platform and your tricolour markers in your Mother Earth. You're getting nine pens in there, but 27 colours in total. So it's an amazing deal on this one and if I can just show you the stamps that Sheena has, um, uh, has drawn are just stunning uh, I think there's something for everyone here and every genre as well because it is just they're just absolutely beautiful um, it's all about the lakeside beside the uh, the lakes or the rivers or wherever you are I love this one and uh, Sheena I was seeing earlier that you were turning the little boys into little girls yes I, I thought was. was very clever I think that's um, it's a really nice way of just being able to adjust them that little bit more um, then we've got this one here um, so tell me your inspiration behind this one Sheena yeah thank you that was the one at um, the the morning in Lake Garda that was uh, based on a picture I took there and it was lovely uh, hot summer night and amazing. the boats are just in the harbour and yeah isn't oh. it beautiful? So lovely. Isn't it nice when um, stamps like this can really take you back to a place that you oh, remember? Absolutely. Um, it's your happy to, happy place, isn't it? It is, yeah. And I think this one, you've been loving this one, especially online, yes. because I think it's just suitable for loads of occasions. Like, wish you were here or missing you or you yeah, could yep. be a sympathy card too. Yeah, I was it's thinking like retirement, retirement you know, just yeah. that. It's that breath of fresh air, yeah, isn't it? It's just absolutely. beautiful. Um, I think this is my favourite. The ducks. I love the ducks. Should I do, do love a duck. Next? Yeah, I just I think, know. oh, yes, yeah. Um, I absolutely love this. I think it's absolutely beautiful. Yeah, it just reminds me of um, summers with the kids when you take them down to the river, you feed the ducks. And yes, I know you're not supposed to feed the ducks. Um, I don't know how true it is, but you're not supposed to feed them bread, are you? It's not good for them. But um, for many years, we've took the kids to, to feed the ducks. Um, apparently, and I don't know if this is true either, but you shouldn't, you shouldn't soak them in lemonade, the bread, because it can make the ducks explode. I don't I don't think that's no, true how? but someone so <laughs> Where would you find that? I don't know. Someone told to me about that. years ago and said you shouldn't feed the ducks lemonade because it makes them go pop. No. <laughs> don't don't <laughs> explode any ducks. Don't. I don't know who was feeding ducks lemonade. Yeah, I remember being told that years ago and it's always stuck in my head. Why would people feed lemonade to ducks? <laughs> uh, Sheena, you got some samples yes. there. Yes, shall we have a look at some? Yeah, I'm getting that image out of my head now. Thank you very much. <laughs> Back to tranquility and peaceful scenes. Um, so the... Um, the 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 chair there i just think and i love this that pamela has created this gorgeous sunny evening but look at that from full color to low color so that's just a graphite pencil but look wow. how amazing it looks so because i've put the detail in these for you really don't need to do much to them to make them look good and again a different approach there 
love the colours of the it's green. It's beautiful, in there. that one. That fabulous. And all mm. these things. And then look again. I love that there's a few of these together. So bear in mind that one. Then look at that one. We've turned it into winter. I see we. It's so Julie. that's the snow one snow that one. they said about that Gorgeous. sold it to them. Yes. Lovely, isn't it? Is so beautiful. use your white pen. Use your um, your white kit from your um, oh, yes. Bella Luna, mm -hmm. yeah, to create the, the snow on there. And then again, look at how fabulous that looks just in graphite. And that it looks like you've been out with a sketchbook. It and does look like that. Put that yeah. in a frame, sell it, just do it. Yeah. yeah. Put a price on it. You sign it because it's more more than me. <laughs> and honestly, that's uh, that yeah, is that looks incredible. Full angel policy. You've done all the work on there. And actually, uh, Shin, if you was to do that with all of them, you yeah, could frame them on your you walls. Could. Look Absolutely. amazing. And you know what? If you sell your stuff, you can only charge so much for uh, a card. Like you know, a card, even a gorgeous card like this, you would charge you know x amount of pounds for it. Yeah. Yeah. If you put that there in a frame and mat it and layer it you can charge about three four times what you yeah. charge and the frame might only cost you about two or two or three you know quarter of that price yes so yeah. that's all I'm, I'm thinking is like if you do that and you replenish your oh that's there, beautiful it's cute isn't it yeah, this was, I love um, that. in Ludlow gorgeous day last year in, in the summer um hot fabulous and again so. there's that that um gorgeous uh, Italian lake scene beautiful but the backgrounds all these backgrounds you can achieve with the pens that are in the uh, blockbuster I love that in the yeah that's nice and um, this is watercolor and the pens combined lovely isn't it love so that. beautiful I do love a monochrome card yeah and you know what they're so easy to do so yeah. you know we can stamp you could stamp and monochrome that in fact maybe I'm wondering if we could do that next we could monochrome and then Add a bit of colour. Here's the plan. I was going to do full colour with the ducks, but I think we'll monochrome, stamp it maybe with a sepia. Oh, nice. Like that. Um, mm. Water reactive. And then we'll colour just the ducks. How about that? Oh, yes, definitely. We'll spot colour them. I love yeah. that card. Isn't that just so it's pretty? It's so nice. It? It's just it doesn't need a lot of extra treatment to them because all the interest is in the middle. Triptych, just cut it in three. Ah, oh, I love it. that. Yeah, yeah, that looks amazing. Fabulous. Tag cards. Look at that. Oh, beautiful. And actually, that's it. That's a really good example that you don't have to use the full stamp. No, exactly. Literally, you could just use that part of the stamp. It Absolutely. looks amazing. Smaller format cards, because some people like a smaller card. Yep. Look how that's it carries nice. a bigger card. Looks so classy, that, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, it's, like it's really nice. I do love a big frame. Yeah, the frame mm. looks amazing. It carries that, that weight because of the detail in it. So that's some inspiration for you. And by the time we play again, I might have an eye. I might have stuck to a plan. <laughs> we don't mind if Sheena doesn't stick to a plan. I do want to show you the pens you're getting in that collection, though, because this is from your Mother Earth. Um, you're actually getting your nine pens in here, but 27 colours. And you can see all those absolutely beautiful colours that you're getting in there. Every single one of those. And remember, I mean, you've seen Sheena before. She literally can mix all these colours together and make a completely different colour palette. Um, I love the fact that we've got all these uh, undertones here as well, so you can mix those. I mean, if you imagine mixing all of those different colours with all of these colours, you're going to get a totally different tone every single time. Um, and Sheena, I was watching you in the launch show, uh, which I thought was very clever. You were actually using the pens on the squares of your um, glass measure. mat. Yeah. And I thought that was ingenious. So then you know exactly how much you're putting in to mix well, each colour. Well, maybe should do, to that do that next for I Beginners, think that was because that yeah. is that pen will help you will allow you to mix any color and be able to measure what you've done so you can do it again the next time so when we come back yes we'll do we'll we'll show you a little bit of color mixing how about oh, that? let's absolutely do that because uh, it's very clever and i've always thought to myself how do you know how much you you do a scribble and then you do another scribble and you think oh, i'll make that color and then you try and do it again and then you never get that same amount of color um so yes if you didn't see the launch show then uh, come back in just a second because we're going to go back over to sheena and she'll show us how to do it because i thought that was ingenious but you are getting all of that nine pens set with those 27 colors in with your show stop as well so you can get that all today platinum price of 40 pounds or 53 dollars 60 it's amazing value and you are getting all of sheena's stamps all the cardstock all the pens the paintbrush and everything you can think of in that bundle which is absolutely amazing <laughs>
Uh, now, if you are just joining us, um, we're starting a fresh hour, um, but we've still got Sheena in the building and we're going to uh, jump straight into this amazing collection. Uh, it's the brand new launch of the Lakeside Stamps. There are four stamps in this collection um, and we're going to be heading back to Sheena because she's going to do my favourite, which is the ducks. Uh, have you got the plan still, I Sheena? I have got the plan. <laughs> Let me show you that little bit of colour mixing because with this blockbuster, Leanne was saying earlier, you know, Leanne and I put this set together and Leanne said it before I said it that don't think of this as the mother earth set just think of it as the everything essential set because we said we should have put uh, just essentials on it instead of the mother earth we just brought it out at the same time as mother earth because I couldn't put a set together that makes more sense to me for teaching you how to use color and how to make so first thing to do is make a color chart like I've done here and always put your pens back. I've actually put my pens back in the order that my colour chart is so that when I go to use them, I know that what three pens down is this one here, which I'm going to use and oh, show you about clever. in a minute. So that there. I've got neutrals at the top. I've got the browns, which are good for skin tones. And then, but this pen is the one we're going to concentrate on. The others I've put into collections that make sense and mix nicely together. Okay, so that, but up to that point, there's absolutely um, a, a, a teachable and a reason, reason uh, behind that, a system behind it. And this one here, if you're only going to carry the one pen, this is what I think of as like your printer ink pen, yeah, or your process colour pen. So what you've got at the top, you've got yellow, just like that. So do a dot of yellow, then we're going to do a dot of pink, um, like that. And then we're going to do a dot of blue, just to remind you that these are the pure colours out of the pen, undiluted right then we're going to start mixing and we're going to take the yellow and we're going to look at the squares on our mat and i'm going to color four squares of yellow like that and the good thing is this is not absorbing so it'll only take what it takes so it's not going to take more than one square less than another because it's a standard kind of non-absorbing surface so you can then write down if i mix equal quantities four squares, four squares, or just 50-50, a one-to-one -one ratio, that when I have done that, when I mix them together, like this, this is the colour I'm going to get every single time without fail. I'm going to get that gorgeous mid-orangey-red colour mm, like that. Amazing. And if I want to vary that at either side, if I want to make it more red, I could mix just maybe two squares of yellow, yeah? Yeah, and four squares of pink. Now this should make it more like a scarlet red, believe it or not. You wouldn't think you could do that, but I may be wrong, but uh, it's, that's what I've got in the past. So when you mix these together, you get more of a, like a ready red. So I've put a little uh, bit more yeah. water in that, but can you see how it's like more like a red a true red whereas yes. that's pink and that looks more true red yes. if i want to make it more um i'm just going to get a wipe so i can just keep wiping this up because that's what you're going to want to do when you when you're mixing is just start clean if i want to make it just a more yellowy with a touch of that i can do let's do three uh, sorry six squares yellow and let's just try even one square pink can you see how you can measure it then yes. yeah yeah now I, I just think that's so clever yeah, and it's, Leanne was like, wow, why did I never think of that? That's mm. so cool. And it is because then, look, gorgeous. Yeah, now, bear in mind, we've only used two pens yeah. there. <laughs> but look at that and look at how we can write next to it exactly what we did to get to where we got. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And that goes, follows through for all the other colours. You're going to do the same thing with Debbie. Yeah, and that's an amazing pen that you've used there because actually oh. every one of those colours blends to another colour. Absolutely, and you can even, if you make something like a skin tone, right, with these, you then you know you're onto a winner. So if we mix, say, three, two, two, and that's going to give me the orange, and then I want to mix a little bit of green, so I'm only going to do two and maybe one of that, yeah? Yeah. And I mix this together here, like this. I'm going to get a, a brownie warm tone to start with, but it's too warm. And then I mix these two together, but put a little bit of that in there now. When I put that there... Oh, my goodness. <laughs> now, I've got... 
That's amazing. You've just created a great skin tone. Yeah. And if I want to pop a little bit, you know, a blush kind of colour in there, can you see how I'm just picking some of that up because it's water so I mean I can just pop a little bit in there so you can pop wow. a little bit of a warmer glow in there as yeah, well. Yeah, it's amazing. So that's what just one pen will do. So you know what, if you want to learn how to mix colours, that is such a good way of doing it yeah. using the squares on your tile just and, brilliant and with one pen and if you can do that with that then you just move on to using just your basic watercolors and things because now you know however i pick it up if it's one to one or two to one or three to one they're the kind of colors i'm going to get yeah that. so they're your pens and they're amazing and i've created the background this morning on here by sponging them on the background and then going over the sparkle paint so it's not just for coloring in um, you can blend with them all this around here where you would think I'd used a, um, a, an ink pad. No, nope, that's the pens with glycerin. Oh, wow. Yeah, so let's, shall we do the ducks then? Yes, yes let's right. do it. So what I was going to do, look, I've got an ink pad out ready, sealed brown, and then I thought, no, let's do it all monochrome and let's use tan. <laughs> no, cease and desist, stop, back up there, Douglas. Let's get a couple of ink, uh, um, applicators out. So I'm going to use black probably as well at some point. But the first thing we'll do, let's make this quick to colour in, right? So I'm going to take this and I'm going to scribble like that there. Now, if it's looking a bit warm, we can add a little bit of black into it as well. I might. Let's pop a little bit of the black tone in there because I want it monochrome, but I want it quite warm. Yeah, that, just that. And then I'm going to take my glycerin and add a little blob of that because that's what's going to make it blend yeah. over, the, over the background. Great stuff. Yeah, it's brilliant. <laughs> Honestly, Debbie, when I started doing this years ago and I came to and I'm going, wow, even crafters are doing it now. It's brilliant. <laughs> it's like, you know you're onto a winner when people are doing it because it works. Yeah, right, definitely. so we've got the sky done in there and now I'm going to go and do the water and you think, oh no, it's dark, it's a bit dark. It's a oh bit, no. But don't worry, oh no, it's dark. Oh no, oh, it's dark. It, Debbie. Oh no. But we aren't done. We're just putting the basic first um, kind of pass over of this now. And then we can add a little bit more of the black. We want a bit more drama at the top like that oh no oh no it's even worse <laughs> sheena stop cease and desist but we're gonna pop that there like that we'll pop a little bit of the um yeah let's pop a little bit no let's leave it at that so what we're gonna do now we've got color down there now i'm gonna take some up it does look a bit smoke damaged i'm not gonna lie <laughs> right, it ain't pretty right now but if we take water and before we bleach these clouds out straight away, we should start to see a bit of light in the whole thing again. So we can do that and then blot it. So just adding plenty of water, then lifting it. And then you can even add a little bit more and just extend out there and just give it a little bit wispy bits in the sky so it's not as flat, yeah? <laughs> um, we can take some colour out of these little tree, this little bit of tree up here so it looks like it's got some highlight to that. And we can always put colour back in. Um, we'll take a little bit out the top of these so that it looks like there's some light shining on there at the top see how easy it just lifts up the color because never of thought the, of doing it like this yeah. amazing so put the color down then lift it out again now we've got some highlight on there wow. and we can continue this down and just add some little ripples in the water because we can put the dark back in as well. What we're doing is we're just lightening it and then we're gonna do some detail in the whole thing. And it's one of those ones you think, oh no, it ain't looking great so far, but don't worry, stay with it. We'll do that there. Lid. I think it's looking great. <laughs> <laughs> we'll lift the color off the ducks like that. Now we've got the pen that we can now start coloring in with and putting color where we want it, yeah? A bit of that of the black and now we can get a bit more drama into the mix so the base of these trees back here we're going we're going dark debbie i know i'd be so scared to do that whoa i'm a bit scared now to be honest <laughs> oh, my oh, what have i done <laughs> debbie help me anyway over to debbie <laughs> <laughs> Mm. 
And can you see we've got that <laughs> that little texture going on there? And so it's just just look at the stamp and think, right, we've chunked that up. We've made that look a little bit more simple, haven't we? We've, we've just made it like a little bit more um, less detailed, a little bit easier to kind of read with that. And then we can pop some colour in this tree back there, a little bit more there maybe. But I'm leaving some highlight on it as well. It looks amazing already. So now it's got a bit more um, kind of... Um, definition to it and we'll pop some darker areas in here so it gives it um the movement back in instead of it just looking kind of one overall tone of gray but it was a quick way of putting that base color down yeah. and then we can um take away and then add what we want by yeah i thought that was a very clever way to do it yeah it's just a way of reassessing it isn't it it's, a, mm. it's another way of approaching that um, I'm going to pop it. And, and instead of using the ink pad which I was going to to just keep diluting that colour it's a nice little um, a different technique to go with to um, to show just how versatile these pens are yeah Pat is asking what you put on the card to take the colour out of it it was it's just water isn't water. it yeah that's it because these are so you know responsive and so good for beginners these these really are great pens to use because you know some products coloring products don't for bleach as well as these do which is basically lifting off the card when you ask them to lifting the color and you're kind of stuck and you haven't got that control um but these do behave really nicely and I've gone really dark down here, and that's deliberate because I want that. And if I lose some of the light in this, I can always go back and put a little bit of um, yeah. uh, white in there again. So I'm just going to go really quite dark and around these little ducks here. But see how quick I'm going? A, because I want to fit in as much as I can for you. And B, I want you to see how, you know, sometimes laboring over every little brush stroke doesn't actually help you just get yeah. it on there and um <coughs> and see what you've got <coughs> and then these little guys here these little um ferny bits and frondy bits we can put that back in um so that's not bad for what we've got to start with and we can add some color bring some light back into it but let me you say not bad, I say it's a masterpiece. <laughs> <laughs> so what I want to do now is see, can I get any more light in here? Can, have, I, have, I missed, have I missed the boat on that? Can I full bleach it anymore? A little bit there because I've, I want to, um, you know, put a little bit more highlight back in. So give it a try, but I don't want a solid edge to it either. Can you see? Yep. So just blotting and moving on like that. And then a little bit, you know, highlight again, but you still want the dark in there or it you know, just it makes it look better. Right. Um, what we'll do now is we need to colour these little guys in here. Um, I'm just going to try and tidy up this little, uh, these beak, we, we could probably cover over that, but it's a little bit dark. So I'll see if we can lift that bit of colour. And I'm going to dry it, Debbie. Mm -hmm. so that it, all the fibres go flat again and then we can concentrate on putting some colour into those. So if I can dry that, if you've got anything to see while I dry yeah, that. Yeah, absolutely. Let's just have a look a few more. We've got uh, Stacey Lou is saying uh, two hours of Sheena. Uh, amazing. Uh, we've also got um, Vanessa saying, Sheena, this is so cool, uh, especially to how to make the same colour every time. This is mind blowing. Uh, yeah, do, using those squares on the actual mats is quite incredible now while Sheena's just uh, drying her makes let's uh, go with these uh, pigment ink pads uh, because these are incredible now you all know how they're my favorite I absolutely love them but they've been put the colors have been specifically put together just for this collection so these are great ones to use with them um, you've got your first one which is your ocean blue uh, we've then got the parakeet we've then got Friar brown You've got 
lemon tonic. Um, yeah, this would be perfect for this technique, absolutely. Um, you've then got your uh, Noir Black, your Midnight, we've got Crushed Velvet, and then you've got your pink tulip as well. So really lovely colours in them. You can get all those eight pieces today for £33 or $50. Your platinum price is £26.40 or $40, which is amazing for those eight uh, pigment ink pads. It means you could do lots of different techniques with them as well. So uh, they're a great one to have, um, which is amazing. Uh, right, are we okay to come back yeah, over to Yeah, we're good, you, Debbie. Um, Let's hop back over to um, Sheena. So what I've done is I've put some duck type colours down here and I'm also going to put some green because we'll give make one of them like a, um, you know, uh, uh, the green duck, the blokey. There's the bloke there. Oh, these are certain duck. The men, men ducks, ducks are always prettier they? than the women, women ducks. Women ducks. I used are to like, think all ducks were just mallards. Uh, yeah, yeah, the mallard. They're the pretty ones. So... I love the way, I think it's Lisa, is it Lisa's car? Yeah, oh, the pretty one. I'll have to look say again, I'll probably get <laughs> it wrong. I just painted this so that it looks like, um, you know, like he's got the, he's, he's got that full colour going on there. We'll pop a little bit of black there as well. Um, and I'm going to go with a warmer kind of tone on his body here, just so that it, he stands out from the background. And if I go over and just wash this, um, I'll lose the white highlight, but I'm going to go in with the white pen from the Bella Luna. So um, that's okay. And I'm going to put a little bit of white um, there for his, his body. Um, this one here will make a little bit more kind of browny, back to brown look. But it's a warmer brown in the background. I just wanted to be able to um, differentiate the difference in the, the colour there yeah. from the background type of colour to the to what I've used for the for the ducks. Um, so a little bit just walk darker at the base. And this is just again the first layer. I'll go back like I did before and um, you know refine it, have a little bit more play with the um, dark and shading it and putting a bit of highlight in it. But this will just get me defined where I'm where I'm looking. Yeah. Um, we'll put some gold colour down oh, yeah, that one there. So apparently the female ducks are brown, mallard ducks are brown. Yeah. Yeah. It's a shame the women, the, 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 the females and all the species are always boring and yeah, that is the true. dull ones. And it's Peacocks the, the are the same, aren't they? ones that are all strutting their stuff and like, oh, check me out. <laughs> 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 Christine is saying, I love your demo, Sheena. This looks great. Thank you. So what I've done here is I'm just looking and I'm putting a little bit darker in areas just underneath, um, you know, where the, is it like his undercarriage and a little bit in amongst the feathers. And then we can pick out a little bit more colour here and there as well. And I'll do the same for this one here. Just darken a um, little bit of black and a little bit of that um, cooler brown just around. And you can do the same at the base of his of the beak um, and I'm deliberately going quite quickly here because I don't want to you know you to think you've got to spend ages and ages coloring them in to make them look cool because mm -hmm. I don't think you do yeah I've got a little bit there I need to color in the background can you see it was just a little bit so I didn't want that to just kind of showing there so um we'll pop a little bit of that that's yeah. all credit to you though, Sheena, because I think when you do your stamps, you make it very easy for people to colour them in because um, the sort of shading and the lines are all there for you, aren't they? Yes, that's the thing. And that's what I try to do so that you don't have to, you know, work too hard. You shouldn't have to work to make it look good. You should just be able to stamp it if you want and it look good yeah. and do nothing to it. But it look amazing when you do your thing to it. But you should also have the clues there. I always say it's like, read the stamp before you start. Look at where I've put the little bits of shading for you. So you can go, ah, yeah, that's mm -hmm. in the shadow. That's darker there. So uh, I'll put the highlight in this bit and that bit will be darker. And it just makes it easier. Because that's, you know, that's what I, I try to do for you. Um, right, so we've got three ducks sitting there. 
and, and we can so pop good. a little bit of a um, so you can use your pens for this as well so instead of using your um your paint if you want to just you know put the eye back in and make it a bit more uh, controllable um you can do see the way i've just put that little eye back in there yep so just an oval little eye in this little guy's eye there and then that one and then, you know, you can even use your pen to define the ducks a bit more as well. So if you want them to look a bit more, you know, in the foreground and a bit more prominent, just scribble over with your pen. That's a, you can do that. It's all allowed. So make, because I put, stamped this out with a, with a lighter ink, but by doing that, these little guys become much more, um, you know, um, there, noticeable. We'll put that black band there for us. I think because of the colours you use, it really looks like the sun is just going down and they're just sort of bra bronzing themselves in that last bit of sunlight. Yeah. It looks, it looks incredible. And that's the fun thing, being able to do that with the pens as well that we've put in the, in the, in the blockbuster for you. So, you know, everything's there for you to use. And then the pen again, you can, let's use a, a thicker one. Um, or even the brush pen as well, we can use that to, um, so these are the art liners and then you can pop these little frondy bits that we, we kind of lost because we, we coloured over them, but we can put them back in and you can also even do that with your, um, with your, yeah, um, aquas as well. I'm just looking for one a little bit, yeah, that's a bit thicker, we need a little bit thicker one there. This card is still a little bit damp, mm -hmm. so when you go to colour on it and put the um, the waterproof ink on it, it just kind of sits on the surface sometimes. It'll, it's not the pen's fault. It's not the pen's drying out. It's just that the pens are um, on a on a damp surface. Let me dry that quickly. Oh no, let's do this. Let's try this and see if we can pop a little bit, just carefully, some little bits. So I'm trying to be really light with the application here with this um, with this pen because the lighter you, you hold it the, the thinner you're gonna get the um, you know the, the marks on there. Yeah. Because I don't want it to overpower everything with that. Um, and even if you you see the way I'm just going from the bottom up and trying to make it look so that it's darker mm -hmm. at the base of these little reeds there. Yeah? Yeah, it's so good. Well, Linda is saying, hello, I'm late to the party, but what a demo to start with. Yes, oh, absolutely. And Jonal is saying, Sheena, you are such an inspiration. Your talent is phenomenal, but you, you break it down for us to make things achievable. Oh, thank you. So what we're going to do, Debbie, I'm drying this now. We're going to put some white on there, and then we're going to go around the outside, believe it or not, with a bit of black. Oh. I know, just to make it look even more dramatic just to, to draw your eye into the center a bit more. So I'm gonna dry, wipe this up like that. It and is then incredible. I'm going to use the white pen, which is the fabulous white pen that um, again is in the, um, the, it was, I think it's sold out, but Leanne said today, yeah, it's gonna be, it's back. We're waiting for it to come in oh, as amazing. a staple, just a core product. So how cool is that? because you'd really do want to use these highlighters in your, um, in your stash for sure, because the difference they make is huge. I mean, look at, look at the, the difference there in the little highlight on the beak, see? And the feathers you can pop back in. Yeah, it looks beautiful. So if you've lost a bit of that highlight, you can just pop that little bit detail in there and you've got that. See how he's standing out now and this little guy give a little highlight there, a bit more like the highlight. And then a bit there. And it just, it just makes them stand out so much more, doesn't That's it? That's amazing. And you can also follow a few of those ripples if you want. We can, in fact, we could use the, um, the gouache for that as well. So there's this in here, which we can pop a little bit. There, like that, a tiny little bit because a little bit goes a long way and we can pop these clouds even whiter and make them look a bit more, 
So if you want to lose that black line, you know where we stamp the clouds? Yeah. Just go over a little bit with the gouache and it'll tone it right down and they'll look just like softer little clouds, but you've got the shape to follow. And it doesn't matter if you come away from that shape a little bit either because it just, that's the nature of clouds, yeah? Yeah, and Just beautiful. pop them where you want them. I'll pop a little bit more gouache there. I'm liking that actually. The, Wow, it looks quite dramatic on screen, doesn't it? It looks Honestly, rubbish it, it, in the flesh, but look No, it great. does not. <laughs> 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 looks incredible. Um, and then we can pop a little bit of that light. So this is the, the lightest bit we're going to get here. So I'm being um, quite, well, uh, it's going to say frugal, but just be careful where you're putting it. So don't go over the top with it just in the center there just to give it that little highlight on the water mm. yeah it's, it's just amazing um and then we're going to dry that go around the outside and then we are stick a fork in it it's done <laughs> this is the break that you might you may want to do this you may not want to do it but i think we will do it just not much just a little bit just to to finish out the edges and then we'll stick it on a card when you're talking debbie and then we'll come back and see it so what i'm going to do is take the applicator uh, the black pen black pen Bearing in mind, no ink pads used here other than to stamp the line. Mm -hmm. And everything, all of this blending has been done with these markers with the glittering. I mean, yeah. you know, what you can do with them is amazing. Um, such good value for money. So now by using it like this dry, I'm getting that more kind of softer, just blend around the outside that vignette which just draws your eye into the center yeah. a bit more and you think oh i'm darkening it more i want don't want it you know i need it to be have that light and dark but by darkening it you the middle bits in the middle really glow see how that finishes that off it's amazing honestly uh, and you're right it really does draw your eye into the yeah, middle it does it, it like that so what i'm going to do is i'm going to stick that on the card if I can. So you, um... Absolutely, yeah. In fact, Stephanie's saying we had mallards show up every spring in our house in New York. They would swim, bath, play in the water that collected on the top of our ground pool cover. Um, always a delight to see them come back year after year. Yeah, that's amazing. Uh, Carrie is saying these would be great as uh, jigsaws. So using our jigsaw dies. Love that idea. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, we could, so Jane was, uh, Kerry was, uh, Carrie was saying that we could use our jigsaw dies and make them yeah. into jigsaws. Yes, absolutely. Yeah, really good idea. Uh, Jane Adams is saying it's beautiful. Uh, Maria's in the house. She's saying loving the ducks and the composition. Um, Kimberly is saying you make it look so easy, Sheena. She absolutely does, but actually achievable as well. Um, Sherry is saying I love this. This would make a great Father's Day card. Yes. Yes. Perfect for that. Uh, Christine's saying that looks amazing. Carletta is saying what a lovely picture. Sharon is saying uh, love how something so brown at the beginning ends up looking so different at the end. Yeah, that's yeah. a really good point, Sharon. Um, and Sherry is saying this card is absolutely amazing. Uh, yeah, totally amazing. It's uh, just absolutely beautiful. Uh, while um, Sheena is just uh, sticking that on, we are going to take just a very short break uh, and we will be straight back with you after this. Welcome to Club Inspire, the crafters companion community where you can feed your crafty obsession. Join our fantastic loyalty club today and receive 20% of your first order. We'll also give you 250 points to help get you started. Other benefits of joining Club Inspire include exclusive special offers and discounts for Club Inspire members only, exclusive sneak peek previews of brand new product launches, You'll receive one point for every pound, dollar or euro you spend. And the more points you receive, the more benefits you'll unlock. So what are you waiting for? Sign up, join the club and start rewarding yourself today.
My name's Craig Laird. I work at Crafters Companion. I am a craft expert where I get to play with lots of crafty goodies from Crafters Companion and hopefully we're here to inspire you with lots of crafty things that you can do. So my crafting journey, that started many, many years ago, actually just over 20 years ago. I actually came across crafting on uh, UK Shopping TV. I, uh, I was unwell at the time and I was just channel surfing, just uh, having a look to see what was on TV and then I came across who is now my friend Dawn Bibby and I thought, oh, I quite like that bit of crafting that she's doing. I purchased some crafty goodies and before you know it, here I am, all these years later, uh, doing what I'm doing with Crafters Companion. So believe it or not, none of my family or friends are actually very creative. So the creative side in me has actually just progressed naturally. As I have progressed, I've become really friends with many craft experts out there in the industry and they're the ones that inspire me. Then coming to Crafters Companion, Crafters TV and interacting with all the crafters at home, seeing what they make. I am a huge, huge advocate for social media because you get to see lots of things that everyone makes at home and that does inspire me as well. Many years ago, before I started here at Crafters Companion, believe it or not, I didn't have a lot of confidence. I didn't go out a lot, I didn't do much. Now, with Crafters Companion and Crafters TV it's given me so much confidence self-belief my biggest crafting success I'm gonna to have to pick two one of them is appearing on HSN America I was really really lucky a couple of years ago to actually go to Florida with Sarah to see how it all works behind the scenes an incredible juggernaut that the shopping TV is at HSN that for me is an incredible proud moment I will never ever forget when all of you incredible crafters at home uh, voted enough for me to be in the run-in of the 2021 male craft personality of the year was such a humbling feeling I was so so proud I was so grateful our Crafter TV audience are absolutely incredible. For me personally, it is personal interaction. I've never had the best of health. I've always been open about that uh, with our viewers and the support that I get. So many people are in the same situation as me health-wise, but if you just want that interaction, you just want to have that chat away about anything random in life on a social media, on a crafters TV, you know that you're going to get that support, you're going to get that understanding when it comes to the crafters at home. Ah, there you go. Welcome back to Crafters TV. Uh, we've been showing you at the moment all things stamps um, and they are the Lakeside stamp. They're the new stamps that were launched only today on Crafters TV uh, by our very own Sheena. Uh, they're absolutely beautiful and if you want to grab those today, these are the stamps uh, that you're going to be getting in this collection. So absolutely gorgeous. Um, if ever you've been out for the day, you've been down by the riverside or the water or anywhere, just relaxed. Uh, these stamps are for you. I love the fact that they're great for all sorts of uh, genres. They're beautifully um, drawn by our Sheena um, and you can colour these with ease. Uh, go back today, look at the launch show because uh, Sheena would show these uh, in their full glory and how you can create um, beautiful designs with them. Um, you could do home decor, you could be doing car making. Um, this might be, you might have been somewhere like this scene here, like Sheena went and you could be doing it in your scrap booking uh, you've got your sentiment stamps on there as well um, as well as the main uh, characters um, we've also got a set if you're going for the showstopper today you've got your nine pen mother earth earth aqua tricolors uh, which are amazing because you're getting 27 colors in total uh, in that showstopper you're also getting your uh, with your aqua markers you're also getting your paintbrush your watercolor cardstock uh, your six by stick six stamping platform and your paintbrush as well as all four of those uh, you're getting all of that for only an additional 20 pounds or 30 dollars so it's really worth the value in that is exceptional um, if you're platinum price that's 40 pounds or 53 dollars 60 so absolutely amazing um, plenty of you joining us tonight if you've got any questions for Sheena we're literally in the last 25 minutes of the show so make sure you get those questions through to our Beck um, and she will send them across to us so anything you want to ask Sheena uh, she's in the building 
filled in so uh, ask away um she's cutting over there she's getting her card ready uh, let's head back to sheena and see uh, what she's doing with the card she just made or with the picture that she's just colored well, in oh what I, sheena what you're up to well what i thought of you there's a gorgeous card let me try and find it i love this card um this is whose card is this it is karen's and i love it and i just think it's stunning yeah, it's and it's beautiful. done with, just with graphite and it looks gorgeous but what i'm thinking the ink i've used a bit darker than her ink but let's have a bit play with the graphite but then i'm going to spot color this seat let's spot color that seat oh red. yes all right oh yes so so what i've got is i've got this um chunky you know the um the um sketch pack yeah oh, yes. that yeah, massive yeah, yeah. pencil like that and i said actually well i haven't got my sketch pack with me but i had one of the mechanical pencils i bought previously which is a different brand but you can see how there yeah. it is that's one of them i've got that was what i was just saying so i didn't bring my sketch pack but i did have this in me um in me um me crafting little uh, caddy i bring with me me essentials that i definitely need so what i'm doing is i'm just using a bit of the graphite across here using the chunky one just so that i can get quite a bit of color laid down there like that and i'm leaving the tops of these light all right so that was quite deliberate i'm going to go and just scribble in some of this foliage here so that it, i'm making it really quite silhouette and i'm not going to blend this much i'm just going to make it so that this is blocked in even more because you know when you're sitting and you've got that hanging over the top there like yeah. that it's already quite silhouette but often it you, it really does um contrast against the light sky and it's just dense isn't it so we'll make that a little bit more dense by scribbling that there um now let me show you these hills what we're going to do we're going to use the paper stump and i'm going to press down and blend out that little bit of graphite so that even though i didn't have much on there look at how far that's gone and how mm. we managed to color that, that in incredible in just such a quick um you know a period of time um without having to work too stuff. hard at it and it's done yeah, and we'll amazing. use a little bit again just a light, light little bit try to use less again so that i've already put the reflections in the water for you because if it's there it's going to reflect in the bottom so this time hopefully it'll be lighter can you see i've got less graphite mm -hmm. on it but i'm scribbling over so we've got the reflection going on like that so That's the thing cool. is is knowing you know how much to to put color on and where to leave the color but you see how quick that is debbie it's so and cool effective. i love that yeah and often you see i had even had enough on the pencil there that i didn't need, need to do anymore mm -hmm. so i'm now this side of the tree i'm going really quite heavy with this side of the tree because i'm going to have this in shade this bit here i'm thinking it's going to be a lot of contrast and there's no light coming here so i'm going quite heavy and then I'll probably use just texture like that with some of this side. So there's hardly anything on the right. Because when I go and blend this again, I'm not even going into that heavy dark side. I'm just pulling a little bit of that graphite across to the right. And can you see how that tree now looks solid, but yeah, it's in it's shadow. Brilliant. It's just emphasized that. Um, this here, I think we'll make this virtually silhouette, this bush here. So just heavy handed with the graphite on this. It's just simplifying. What mm -hmm. you'll see I've done for most of the day with this is you've got all the detail there, but just to make it, you know, easy to read and quicker to colour, you can chunk it up like by, um, you know, making the areas less detailed by colouring them all in, in a uniform colour, a larger area. So can you see how that rock there now is looking much more solid? Yep. Yep underneath here is going to be really dark because there's no light underneath mm -hmm. this bench so i'm going quite heavy handed there and a little bit there like that so again just a little bit of graphite here and there but I, i'm careful not to cover every bit of white cord but it doesn't really matter if i do cover it because that's what an eraser's for yeah. because we can put the light back into it oh, of course so we've already got a, a scene that we could virtually say we're done with without doing the, um, yeah, the incredible coloring isn't it but we can put a little bit more detail so use your pencil to add a little bit you see how i'm just scribbling and it looks more like a sketch now yeah yeah so i'm seeing less of the original lines and more of the pencil marks i'm putting in there and again, you can emphasize that in the tree. You can put more 
texture in that and make that more dramatic if you want. Um, it's your picture. And again, this is one of those ones that I would say, if you wanted to um, put it in a frame, and absolutely then, you know, we sell it as a as a piece of art instead yeah. of instead of a um, a card, and you probably get you know um, a, a better return on that yeah, as well. Definitely. And it's a keeper. You know, people don't tend to keep cards forever, mm -hmm. but they'll keep something that you've made and it goes on the wall um, a lot longer. Yeah, so totally. we've got that there now. Um, I'm going to colour this seat in, but then we're going to go over the top with pencil again and a little bit of the white pen. So that's probably as much as I need to worry about at the minute with the with the pencil. Can I ask a question, Sheila? Yes, Debbie. Um, when do you know when's enough or when to stop? Um, well, what you want to do is, and it's a, a big tip I used to do when I used to do graphite sketching. Back in the day, I used to half close my eyes. I'd, nobody told me to do it, just instinctively did it. And I'd look at what I've made. And if I can see shape and form and I can make things out, I've got enough light and dark and contrast mm. in it. Now I just take my glasses off. <laughs> Can't see any detail. The, the reason I asked is because yeah. every time you do something, I keep thinking I would have stopped then, and then you do more to enhance it. And I wonder if it's just because I'm too afraid to go that little bit further. Yeah, yeah. No, that's fair. Fair do it. But you know what? As well, sometimes you might go too far. You know, you couldn't let it lie. But then, what you're going to do is take a picture as you're going with your phone. So that when you've, if you have gone too far, you go, ah, that was one step too far, I'll stop at this stage next time, yeah? Because it's all a learning process. Crafting is, is learning to get better at what you do, not just automatically getting it amazing the first time. It's getting it good the first time or you're not going to want to do it again. But getting it better is what you want to do, isn't it? So what I'm going to do, Debbie, is I'm going to look at this chart here and I'm going to go with crimson. Let's go with this crimson colour, which is the second pen up, because I've got it in order, like that. There you go. And I'm going to scribble like this, and we'll do a red seat there. Let's do it red. Oh, I love this idea. Uh, Becky's asking if you could use the blending solution with the stump. Would that make with a difference? A, no, no, just, just dry paper just stump dry with one. that one. Yeah, yeah, because it's a different composition. Um, the blending so solution breaks down the oil mm -hmm. or the wax in wax or, excuse me, hiccups, um, oil-based pencils. Right. So that's why you're using that, which is why I love these shows, because you can explain what these things are and why you're using mm -hmm. them, yeah? And then when you understand them, you go, ah, right, yeah, that's what I would use. And I, then I could use that with that or this with this. It's like understanding your ingredients, isn't it? Yes. Once you understand your ingredients, you know it, you don't have to remember it. So we're just painting this little seat in here. That's so cool. So it all becomes about the seat, isn't it? The story's all about what's going on with that seat. Who sat there? Who we're waiting for? Who doesn't love a red bench? Yeah, exactly. Oh, I've gone a little bit outside. Oh, look, I went outside the lines. I was doing so well. I'm going to be the talk of the playground now. Oh, <laughs> can't colour in. Oh, man. Well, it's getting late. We've asked a lot of you today. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I said, well, we've asked a lot of you today, yeah. so and it's getting late. Oh, man, we've got a rosy glow around the bench. Anyway, uh, we'll see if we can cover that up later. But I want to dry that bench now because it's just, it's, it's cool, but it's too flat. We need to put some graphite on the top of it, all right? Because it's just looking, um, it's got no contour other than the, the um, marks that I've put on that. And we'll pop a little bit of white pen on that as well. I can't tell you how pleased I am that Leanne said those uh, pens are waiting for them coming in stock as standard stuff because I would want them in my life all the time. Yes. And I have used similar things all the time. So, yay. Um, right, that pencil, let's use that one. Um, so now what I'm doing, is I'm just going to go ahead and just put some graphite on where there's some darker bits and along the side and underneath here like that. just it's tones it down a little bit Debbie can you see yeah it does make a big difference it reminds me a bit when we have black and white photographs we used to color them with like yes. a section with the alcohol markers exactly exactly that yeah 
And then I'm going to darken this under here even more. I want full on drama and impact under this bench. Oh, the drama. I'm such a <laughs> drama queen. Cool, I bet some bits have gone on on that bench. Oh, I bet. Some argue. Uh, oh, that sounded really bad. What I meant I was don't big, want big to know, like arguments on the bench. You know, that's what I was thinking. <laughs> a little bit of um, light petting. <laughs> <laughs> Right, so what we're going to do, I'm going to move on. I'm going to pretend I didn't hear any of that. <laughs> what we can do is we'll add a little bit of the highlight now to this, just so that we've got a little bit of um, you know, uh, light reflected on it. And is this just an um, acrylic marker? It's the acrylic marker, yeah, um, which I absolutely love. And then if you've lost a little bit of highlight on some of your picture, you can pop that bit in it back in areas and... And pop that, um, you know, where you want it. Maybe oh, what I was going to mention earlier is with the hills. If you wanted to use your eraser, we can take some highlight out of them and put the, um, you know, use the eraser to lift some light back out of them as well. Um, I'm just put that on there just to tone down that black line a little bit. It'll show through probably shortly, but it it just softens it a lot by going over that. So it's less obvious um, and then you can just put some ripples in the in the lake as well if you want I'm wondering if I can cover up the um, the red with that as well a little bit yeah it's not as obvious that's so effective glow. it's pretty isn't it? it's a nice really idea pretty. to do the spot color I think um, yeah and maybe a little bit highlight on the tree and this pen if it stops flowing you just pump the little valve thing again because mm -hmm. it's one of those ones that is a valve release which is great because it saves it drying out as well um, and then you can it's up to you how much or how little you want to do but I'm going to leave it at that now and say we are done with that little demonstration um, and then if you pop it on a bit of black cord Hopefully we'll be able to see what it what it looks like when you mat. <laughs> Lillian saying that the bench looks like barred teeth and the trees in the distance make eyes and now I can see it. It's, it looks um, like rock You can't teeth. unsee it, can you? Oh no! <laughs> Have I got to kill a bench now? <laughs> no! <laughs> oh no! <laughs> um, but yeah, so that's just pencil and then spot colouring the bench in there with one colour. Honestly, Sheena, it's amazing. Um, how incredible has our Sheena been today? If you've loved those stamps, uh, you can grab those and follow all that tuition. So remember, you can go back and watch the launch show. Uh, you can re-watch this show as well and uh, find out all that inspiration from our Sheena. The stamps themselves are absolutely stunning. You are loving them. We've had such a busy uh, couple of hours again. Uh, there's four in the collection and these are the stamps that you can be getting. So the ones where you've got the children Children playing um, in the river just absolutely beautiful um, you've got that scene where uh, Sheena was on holiday um, and drawing that just amazing scene I mean we all want to be there at the moment don't we um, it's just incredible uh, that bench that Sheena's just been doing with uh, just the pencil work is incredible um, but colouring in colour looks just as lovely you can choose however you want to do yours um, and then we've got the gorgeous ducks which I absolutely love it's definitely my favourite one I love that um, everything in that just looks beautiful um, if you're going for the showstopper today I'm just going to show you some samples actually why we're there um, just a few of little samples um, and we'll go back to Sheena in a second because she has some fabulous samples from her DT as well um, but they really are truly beautiful if you're going for the showstopper today you will get your watercolor cardstock you'll also get your nine tricolor aqua pens which has got 27 colours in total um, that's the ones here so you can see all those amazing colours in one pen pack you're also getting a six by six stamping platform and you're getting your paintbrush as well uh, all of that in the showstopper for an incredible price today platinum price 40 pounds or 53 dollars 60 um, yeah Lillian said about the bench Tracy saying fabulous Sheena I'm loving the spot colour yeah it looks incredible um, and actually I'd really forgotten about that 
that technique, Sheena. I think yeah. I'll be pinching that and using it in some of the, the bits that we do because I think that's so lovely when you do stamping in just your basic colours and then doing that uh, amazing bright colour uh, in uh, in amongst the picture somewhere. Um, Julia's saying that looks like the mountains are disappearing into the mist like clouds. Uh, yeah, absolutely. It's just, uh, it's all just incredible. Uh, we're going to head back to Sheena just to look at a few samples um, of uh, what her DT have uh, been creating design team. Uh, Sheena, your design team is where we can find all their creations, yes. can't we? So let people know where we can go yes. and find those. Yes, so um, the, my design team all hang out in the, um, a group on Facebook called Sheena's Inkets. So it's I-N-K hyphen e -T -T -E -S, And that's where all the cards that you're going to see, everything that's being made, they're all on there and the team hang out there. And if you say, how did you do that card, Debbie? She'll tell you. How did you do that card, Lisa? She'll tell you. And ah, uh, etc. And that's how it works. And then you share what you've done as well, because that is exactly what we want to see. You've been sharing the um, backgrounds from last week, the uh, court and crystal, which are, look amazing. So well done. Fabulous. So this was the one I did in the previous show. So it was the same technique as the bench, as this one here. Um, same deal with the graphite pencil, but instead I spot coloured the That's boat amazing. and just put a little bit of colour underneath. And doesn't that look pretty? It's beautiful. And just so you know, that was using one pen. So if you pick one of the pens out with colours you like, do a boat in each colour and then a little bit of the blue under the water, that's what you can get. And I think that just worked so well. That's the one we've just done, in case you missed it, mounted on a card. So um, I love and that. And it worked out well, didn't it? Yeah, yeah. that's really yeah. nice. Yeah, phew. <laughs> <laughs> that was the inspiration for that one full colour. So you can see how different it looks. So then you can, you know, mix and match and do your own twist on them from no colour to full colour to again back to no colour. And then winter, I love what Julie's done here with the... Um, you know, again, the white pen, just make the colours cooler, make them more bluey, so less warm mm. than that, so cool colours, yeah? Um, and I, just that's stunning. And this here, you're just stenciling with the um, the aqua uh, uh, markers as well oh, by yes. adding the glycerin cool. to them, yeah? So that'll work for that. Love that full colour with so the ducks. Nice beautiful isn't it yeah really um, lovely and again look at the sunny bright it's just so pretty that one isn't it mm. so all you're going to do is change the palette for the feel you want and that palette that orange and yellow and gold sky it just looks like a sunny summer's evening doesn't it um and again more muted tranquil could be the lake district uh monochrome there i uh, love the way the water on the little oh, waterfall's yeah, nice. been done look and at that flowers. sky Look how pretty. Oh, who's done this? I love Lisa, yeah, gorgeous. I love yeah, it. On the nice. sky colours, pretty. So you can just practice your I love skill. that. You know what? This is clever, this one. Though. This is Karen, is it? Um, yeah, Karen. So what Karen's done, she stamped the whole thing in with like a super pale, like one of the opaque ink pads or the quick drying ink pads, a very pale colour, grey. Yeah. And then she's taken her art liners and just scribbled over a little bit of detail in the foreground and it looks like you've bought a piece of art from a local artist when you're away there and you're going oh I'll take that back as a souvenir of me holes it is amazing and so it's you put that on a wall because you've created a piece of art from the foundation stamps aren't the art stamps are the foundation yeah. that you create your art with that's what they are they're the blueprint and then you do your magic on top of them yeah, it's just, they're just beautiful. Every single one of them. Uh, there's not one that I don't absolutely love. There you go. Aren't they, aren't they just fabulous? And just how you mat and layer them as well, Debbie. So this mm -hmm. set can go as a smaller format card or it can go larger format, even just to, to have an image that will look okay on a piece of mirror like that, that graphite mirror, and still look amazing. Yeah. That's pretty cool. It's to be able really to do that. cool. It's beautiful. Um, and yeah, so my team, thank you guys. You're amazing as always. And um, thank you. Yeah. And I've had a lovely day as well. Thank you, you as well, because, you know, 
Oh, it's Wednesday. It's been a super busy day, and um, yeah, Julie's saying, um, uh, sorry, uh, Melanie's saying, thanks for another awesome show. Lillian's saying, sorry, Sheena, I see faces everywhere. I love your new stamps, and they all look so different. Uh, and Cindy is saying, as always, Sheena, just an amazing day. Thank you so much for sharing your talent. Uh, yeah, you do have uh, just this incredible um, talent about you, Sheena. Uh, and another talent that uh, Sheena did, that Let's just show these before the end of the show uh, because these are our bold butterflies and they are stunning. I absolutely love these. Um, I love the size of them because bold but big, big and bold. Um, they should have been called big and bold butterflies, shouldn't they? Because they're amazing. But what I love about these is that, yeah, see, I should have rewrote your, your script, Sheena. <laughs> yeah, you should have done. Yeah. Um, but I love them because you've got the smaller butterflies and the bigger butterflies. And what I also love about them is you've done the two separate dies yes. to go with them as well. I'll let Absolutely. Sheena explain that in a second when she yeah. shows you some of the samples. But if you just like to stamp, you've got that amazing big stamp, but you've got those dies to to cut out as well which is incredible i think this one might be my favorite i do love the monarch butterfly it's just stunning um absolutely it, it is beautiful absolutely beautiful um we've got another one here which is your red admiral um another i mean they're all gorgeous designs you don't have to choose you can go for all of these today you're getting four different butterflies uh, you've got your swallowtail one there as well uh, you're getting the 23 stamps and 12 dies for platinum price 40 pounds or $48 so absolutely amazing Sheena's got some examples to uh, show yeah. us for inspiration um, yeah where was the inspiration oh. I mean obviously butterflies but butterflies we love a butterfly and um, you, the thing is because you can just go wild with colour having said that if you watch the shows from last Wednesday I did a verdigris and a rusty butterfly a rusty butterfly I've got it in the trolley and it's not right next to me <laughs> normally the trolley's right there and I could have got it for you and it's in there but yes if you can look back it was like so much fun oh i so, might have to do that yeah if you can watch back on that same show I really, it was really good it looked cool because you could send it to, you know, to a man as well it looked yes. kind of steampunky it looked really right cool. yes but if you want to go full color i love this card this is stunning oh um, debbie nice. oz card wow uh, mrs robbins yes to you no, not me, Debbie, Debbie Robinson. Robinson. Yes. I'm singing the Yes to You, Debbie Robinson. Oh, she did a craft wow. along with that. Yeah, I love that. That nice. is gorgeous. That is beautiful. And then let me show so this so oh, you can like cut out the whole butterfly, the whole thing. You put both sides together yes. and cut out the whole thing. Or you can just cut out one side. So you can see this side's cut. That's that clever. Side Look isn't. at that card, that's so clever. Isn't it? And it's using the waist, isn't that? Yeah, yeah, I know. that's messes really with me clever. Head, that. So this one's not cut at all. That one is, and vice versa. You can flip it round, yes. yeah, whichever you want to do there. And then you can continue with the full, um, you know, glory. Now there's loads more samples of these cards, oh, and that. that these are just a few that are here. There's loads more on the Sheena's Inkets. Oh, that's beautiful. Isn't it cool? Yeah. Mm. And then just the stamp there. Look at that. Just the stamped with the the pens different um different looks different vibes with that the different um approaches with them see that's nice because it's using the big stat big butterfly die but there's only the small stamps exactly. around it love so that create one your backing papers with them and those little ones have all got dies just in their entirety and then you can just use the accent ones as well just for your cards that's so, amazing you know without the star of the show is that just for you is that one of the stamps in yes. there yes how yeah. cool is that card yes yeah, cool isn't it so a bit of inspiration for you there but if you want more there's loads on the um sheena's inket site so yeah if you want to have a look at more uh, absolutely love that one and I'm going to just recap on all the ones that you're getting in that collection as well uh, so you've got your uh, swallowtail uh, butterfly uh, you've got your red admiral you've also got that amazing monarch uh, and then you've got your peacock butterfly as well uh, so grab them because it's going to be amazing Sheena thank you so much for today it's been a pleasure a joy and I've learned so much but do join us back here soon yes thank you Cheers. <laughs> everybody ah uh, um thank you for all your good wishes to sheena's because it's really been an absolute amazing show well, i'll see you tomorrow i'll be back on with craig but we'll see you then but bye for now bye